What's up, Magic with RacingDudes.com? Here to watch the Grade 2 Vosburg Stakes, which was rescheduled for Sunday, October 1st at Belmont at the Big A. Race 3 on the card, a win in your end for the Breeders' Cup Sprint. And if you want to watch the replay along as I analyze it and give my thoughts, click the box right up here. It'll take you right over to the replay. You can put that in the side window side by side with me as I'm uh, analyzing this race in real time. Now, this is a win in your end for the Breeders' Cup Sprint. It's a seven furlong race on the dirt. Six horses entered. Cody's Wish, the heavy favorite in here, no surprise. Cutting back to one turn after the Whitney Stakes, Saratoga just didn't work out for him going two turns, nine furlongs. He already has a spot in the Breeders' Cup, Dirt Mile secured. He is the defending champion of that race. It's expected that's where he's going to go. This race being a sprint prep, he's not going to go to the sprint. Um, it's a seven furlong race, and that's great for him because it keeps him back in shape. It's back at one turn, should sharpen him up. Uh, the, the dirt mile is a two turn race at Santa Anita. So, um, it, you know, it's not a one turn setup there, but he showed at Keeneland last year, the, the two turn setup really doesn't bother him at all. So, uh, we're going to watch the Bosberg stakes and give my thoughts on this. Um, and then I'll, and I'll afterwards, I'll, I'll kind of talk about what I saw as well. As far as the Vosburg goes, I mean, you got to either pick Cody's wish or a creative, a creative, a creative. I guess I'll find out when I listen to the call here. Um, a credit for Chad Brown, two races so far this year, both of them, uh, one turn dirt races, both of them, very solid wins. Uh, you can try and bet him or you get Cody's wish at one to nine. You know, he won the grade one Churchill downs at Derby weekend, uh, at seven furlongs to start the year, then won the, the Met mile, which is a one turn race. Uh, the combined margin of victory in those races, eight lengths is pretty great. I, Cody's wish is the one to go with. If you want to make money, I think a credit is very clearly the second best horse. You do a 6-4 straight exactly. It's not going to pay much. Really, when Cody's Wish is in a spot like this and there's no one of significance, no shot to a credit, but someone with like a lot of back class, like you know a multiple grade one winner, if you're not facing a horse like that, it, he's really going to be hard to play unless it's with multi-race wagers or with the exotics and do it stone cold. So 6-4 is how I would play this if I had to sit on my hands for this and just kind of watch and hope Cody's Wish bounces back because there's also the chance that he doesn't. You know, the Whitney maybe. We saw a horse that finally was just kind of done racing or, you know, that's not what we want to have happen. It's a great, wonderful story about Cody's wish and great connection. So uh, let's follow along. They're headed to the gate for the Vosburg Stakes. Cody's wish, last one in. All in. And they're off. And Cody's a little slow out of the gate, it looked like. he's. Uh, I mean, he's, he's going to be a trailer anyways, but he looked like... I don't know if he stumbled or just kind of just bounced out of the gate. Uh, a credit goes right to the front. Uh, front running horse kind of figured this would probably be the case. Make Cody's Wish try and come again. By the way, Cody's Wish already recovered and is now fifth and now fourth. Going for three wide on the back stretch. And he's now three wide uh, with the one and the three inside of it. And now Cody's Wish is in second. My goodness, Cody's Wish is like he's ready to run today. Uh, sensible fractions for accretive, which is how I heard it pronounced right there. Uh, 23.33 seconds. These are by far the two most talented horses in this race. They should have like a pole on the rest of the field by the time they hit the finish line. Um, Cody's Wish looking very comfortable here. 46.12 seconds for the half. Pretty sensible. He's ranging up. Accretive. Not really responding to Cody's Wish's challenge. They hit the quarter pole. Cody's Wish is looking great. The one great navigator sneaking through on the rail trying to make an upset bid. At least to hit the board. Uh, Cody's wish, he's not pulling away like I thought he was. I thought he'd put a creative away at the top, but there he goes. All right. A creative fought well, but yeah, you, you got inside the eighth pole there and Cody was like, okay, now it's my time to shine. Looks good there. Uh, yeah, Cody's wish looked good. Um, didn't absolutely dominate, which I think he was, by the way, was he one to nine when he went off there? Yeah, he was one to nine. Unplayable. Um, it's not how you want to see a one to nine. I mean, the one to nine win. That's they, at the end of the day, they don't ask how much they just, you won by. They just ask how did you win. And yes, he won. Um, listen, we've seen some interesting performances lately uh, for the dirt mile division. I mean, Zozos looked pretty good in the Ack Ack Stakes. I thought, um, you know, going gate to wire, and he's a horse with class that has speed. Uh, you know, a creative was stepping up and it was other than Cody's wish. He was by far the best horse in this race, um, at least on paper, but he wasn't, a, there wasn't anything about him that made you go. This is a, yeah, look out for this horse. This is a breeder's, but like, 
he gave a good effort there to try and keep up with Cody's wish. I'm sure we'll see a creative at the Breeders' Cup if he comes out of this okay. But I don't know. Cody's, uh, listen, I'd love to see Cody's wish win uh, at the Dirt Mile again. But a horse like Zozos, I think, is going to be a lot tougher to reel in in the Dirt Mile going two turns at Santa Anita where it kind of favors speed. Uh, unless there's a lot of speed that signs on for the Dirt Mile. Um, I don't know. I was just hoping to see something better from Cody's wish. Final furlong, 12.16 seconds there. He wasn't being asked for his absolute best, but it did kind of take him a bit to get going. Um, and we've seen him win by, you know, this huge open. Like I said, it was like a combined eight lengths, his first two victories this season. So um, that's my thoughts on this race. Yeah, the, the other horses, they don't worry about them at all there. But that's my thoughts on it. What did you think about it? Am I overthinking this? Is Cody's wish back to a two-turn dirt mile? Is he going to be perfectly fine? You try and play against him maybe with a horse like Zozos or someone else. Let me know down below in the comments section. Before you leave, hit like on the video. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash Racing Dudes. And remember, visit RacingDudes.com for free picks every race, every track, every day, and all of the content leading up to the Breeders' Cup World Championships. we got you covered right here at RacingNews.com. Till next time, good luck at the track. RacingDudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track. It's Breeders' Cup season, and we've got wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the World Championships. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash RacingDudes right now. Click the notification bell. You never want to miss a single video. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.